Well, almost welcome to 2022, everybody. It's still December 21st, 2021, but boy, do we have uh, some real progress on the payroll and Excel application, especially for those of you that are, uh, are, are payroll professionals or accountants and you're handling payroll for other small businesses in, in different states with different payroll frequencies. Oh my goodness, the programming I spent today doing will make your life so easy. It actually makes my life easy. I, I can't help but share it with you all. And, and it's going to answer a question that a lot of people are going to have when you get access to the file with the new rates, which are, are still not in here. We still don't have the new rates. They're not ready yet. The publication 15 from the IRS is not finalized yet. So we don't have the 2022 rates in here, but we do have a setup for setting up your file and your pay frequency and your paycheck dates. And it's so easy that Oh my goodness, it's fantastic. Let's talk about it. So normally uh, I'll send you a list of questions about your business to set up the payroll file for you so that it can be customized. And those questions are going to be, well, what's your payroll frequency? Um, when, you know, when were your paychecks? How, when did your last pay period end? So I have to figure it out so that we can map this entire set of programming. Take a look at all this stuff that's hidden that I'm not showing you right now. That's doing all this work to do everything. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to hide it. We're going to make things really, really easy. Because if you just downloaded the file and you're like, all right, well, I'm a weekly payer or a bi-weekly or a semi-month. Let's start with the most frequent weekly. Okay. You're a weekly payer. Now what do you do? Next question. Days after pay, PPE is pay period ending, paycheck is dated paid. I could, I could word that in a better way and just say date of first paycheck of the year, right? Is that, is, that, is, that, is that the same thing? No, no, it's actually, no, it's a days after pay period ending check dated paid. This is, this is how many days after your pay period ends do you issue a check? And sometimes you'll do it like six or seven days later, you know, the pay period end and then seven days later. That's what that number is right here. And you'll see how it ties into the other questions. The first paycheck of the, of the year was what date. So what date was on that first paycheck of the year? That could be related to, to stuff from the end of December of the previous year. In many cases it is. Let's say it was the 3rd of, of uh, January 2022. Okay. Let's say that that was the first date. And keep in mind, <clears throat> we issue this check seven days after the pay period ends. So look at what happened here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look what happened here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, there we go. Uh, what happened here was the corresponding pay period must have ended on. Look, it's telling you something. It's say, hey, well, the corresponding pay period that you're talking about for this paycheck must have ended on 1227 because you, you issued your check seven days after that pay period and your check was on the third. Okay, that's what it's doing. If you, you issue your check three days after the end of the pay period, you'll see this will change. Okay. So date of the first pay period started is correct. It's asking you, is this right? Like, did you have a pay period from December 24th to December 23rd that was paid on January 3rd? That's what it's asking you. And it's, and then it also says, well, how many pay periods are in your year? And that's actually where we do have to open things up because you have to see if there's 52 or 53 pay periods in the year. It's really interesting because as you scroll down, sometimes depending on the length of the year, it's an additional pay period. And the way you can answer that is by going all the way to the end of the year, um, which is going to show up. It's actually really complicated to do this part sometimes. Um, we're doing weekly. Oh, hold on a second. We need to type something in. Let's type in 52 and see if that's right then it'll start to look right. So what it's going to do is it's going to show you all the days of the year. And it's going to show you what week they ended and what pay period they were. So when you go to the end of the year, July and December, down here you see where it is. 52, is there a 53rd pay period in the year? There could be, right? It would be, it would end on the 30th, but it would pay in January of the following year. So technically there's only 52 pay periods in your year. That's the complicated answer to, to look up whether or not you have 52 or 53 pay periods. And when you figure out the answer to that question, you're going to put that number here. 
can even give yourself a 53rd pay period there and and it will still work uh this paycheck should be in january of 2023 is when it should happen so you really shouldn't have it in there but you can it's very interesting that you can do that um and and everything else just works automatically it's unbelievable i mean look at this ready so paycheck so you see you have a paycheck here that very first paycheck uh, is related to pay period 1231 and it's issued on january 3rd and here's the paycheck right like everything's done right here you can you can remove stuff that don't apply to you in the states that don't apply to you and, and we can talk about that in other videos but this is how cool it is to change this right so say it wasn't weekly say it was a semi-monthly pair okay that issues the check on the day right and the first paycheck of the year was the 15th right they do the 15th and the last day of the month right they have 24 pay periods in the year it's telling you what it should be right here so that you're so that you're matching this and and guess what everything just changed now all of a sudden you have the pay periods that are semi-monthly um you, you've got a new pay stub with a new pay date of the, the semi-monthly and there's the paycheck i mean unbelievable what if this was a monthly payer right monthly payer when was the first paycheck it was 131 because they pay on the end of the month there's only 12 periods in a monthly payer year new paycheck right here is on well that's the february one here's the january one unbelievable unbelievable it all works i spent all day on it it all works all you have to do is answer these questions correctly unbelievable so you you i mean it's difficult for just a single business owner to understand the gravity of how awesome this is when you're an accountant doing payroll for different people you just you just you just your just brain just was like oh my god how do i get this uh, i know i know you're feeling because i've done this for other businesses and oh my god is this fantastic so we have a fully dynamic range changing pay period frequency that is totally dynamic in the entire file and change changes all reports and kind of checks itself here. You know, if you put in the wrong pay period and you put in 52 pay periods for your monthly payer, then what happens is everything looks weird. You get a bunch of blank stuff here. You're like, what's going on? It's because you screwed up. And you know that you know that you need to put 12 here because it's a monthly payer. So um, like I'm sending this file out to someone who wants quarterly. So all I do is put quarterly here. They pay the first paycheck was March at the end of March there's only four quarters in a year and voila uh, this person is now officially done there's all the there's all the new employees right here I mean and you, you can actually delete the rest of this junk because you don't even use it uh, because there's so few pay periods in the year and your paycheck just shows up right here I mean awesome so that is the enhancements um, that those are the enhancements that I have made. I'm sure you all be, will be happy with them. And those who've already subscribed to the uh, Payroll Excel Lifetime subscription, you can get a copy of this and start messing around with this, even though it doesn't have 2022 rates in it yet. But just to show you how to, how to alter the file for your state and your situation, you'll see how easy it is. Awesome, guys. All right, I'll be out. Payroll should be easy. We have made it so.